things is that um, just take it by chance and just test it out first before you make any conclusion. So as I'm showing you now, this is not a mobile version of Fortnite. This is a proper Game Pass. So I'm so surprised by how well um, this works with, uh, with the game uh, background. So, like I'm saying, I didn't expect this to be so good. I thought this was just going to be some weird gadget, it's going to work for some games, and not some games, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm surprised that I'm actually able to play um, Game Pass games. It kind of gives me that place now, like, why not play the ultimate now? Because now, I can just sit in my chair, and I can play all these games. Sometimes when you have to set up the laptop, you need to start in the south to play more, and then maybe I, I want to use my laptop for something else. You, you, know, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, oh damn. So what I'm saying is, it, it becomes a bit of a pain when you have to do those things. I'm not saying it's boring. I, I like them call it GTA on the screen. Uh, I want to try, I want to test Steam because. So what they're saying is that you can actually uh, play your streaming games directly with backup on your phone. So I'm, I'm really curious. I want to find out if that's true. I want to see if that's true. And if it's true, obviously make a, a video about it. So I've not downloaded streaming as yet on my phone. I haven't done that yet. But I, within time, when I eventually play, obviously, I will make a video.
Or there's no update actually for the game. So usually the game itself would have fallen like you know, there's an update and stuff like that. But I'm just noticing that there is no current update, so I guess I just thought to myself, well, if there's no update, then, you know, maybe I should just wait and, and see if I can then, you know, wait, wait, wait as a few, like, you know, 10 minutes of hour, because normally I would get to the update before, uh, before, the, uh, before the actual app store, isn't it? I would always get the update. So I thought to myself, the best way to do it here is just to let, like, just leave it for a few hours. Uh, then I'll do it another time. I'll try it again. I'll see if it's going to allow me to actually uh, play it all the whole game. Because I want to do a review of the game itself. But I'm just noticing that it's not, um, like, for example, like what I was saying, there's no actual update that it's, uh, it's actually telling me about. So I just thought to myself, okay, maybe this is one of those uh, situations where I have to wait and then uh, find out if, if uh, you know, like, because the Android version uh, required me to do an update, so I just decided, let me do the update, and then hopefully, maybe, uh, with due time, uh, the update would be available on the uh, on app store. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just uh, giving a break to the game, but I'll do it and I will be showing you guys the actual, I will be doing the game thing. Um, I don't know when I'll be doing the update, but I'm going to definitely be doing a, uh, a preview of the game itself in the battle. Because the one game that I've always wanted to play with the controller is Call of Duty Mobile. Now, the reason why I am so into the game is because I've played it for a long time and I, I kind of got bored of it because I never had, I never had, uh, I never actually had the uh, ability to use a controller with, with the game and this is the main reason why I, I kind of, well, I didn't stop playing, I still played, like I said, I played on my, my Samsung Z45 but I never had the inspiration to like to continue playing it because it just got boring. It got to the point whereby I was like, I need I need controller support for this game. You know what I mean? Like the game has been out for such a long time. I just thought to myself, why is it like this? Why is it still in this state where it doesn't support controllers? The other game that I've like uh, controller support for would have been um, games like. Um, you know, you know, games, games like, uh, I'm trying to get this thing, so how do I, how do I, oh, so this is not the same, right, so it's not allowed, it's not letting me build the way I'm going to build, right, so basically what I'm saying is, I always, I always thought like, um, maybe, you know, in due time, the game would get some control support, and then obviously I would be able to actually play the game the way I wanted to play it. But I never actually got that support. So with time, what I've done is that I just decided that when it does get support, good. If it doesn't get support, no problem. He's running for the stuff. But I already got the bullets. Right, so right, I wanted to fly into this thing here. So what I'm saying is this is the Game Pass version. It's working perfectly fine. Um, if the first one uh, is not allowing me to play the game uh, through the backport app, my suggestion would be uh, just just go through um, Safari, uh, use your Safari on your iPhone, and what you're looking for is the game um, Xbox. Uh, right, guys, I'm playing. I'm playing uh, Fortnite uh, via Game Pass. And the way I got this working on my iPhone after so many hours of not being able to have this working on um, the backbone app is that I had to log into Safari. So when I logged into Safari, I then had to... Oh, we won the game. I logged into Safari, I went to Xbox uh, Cloud Gaming Beta, and then it's in the website itself, the Safari website on iPhone, it told me to uh, create, you know, to add it to the home screen. 
as a shortcut, I want to add it to your home screen. I'll try and show you quickly if I can spare it to spare it to spare it. I've got two of the cloud, uh, cloud gaming. I'm just showing you. You see? So there it is. Uh, this part is very good. You see? Quick thing, a share of a feedback you can. Uh, it's got the controls for the sensor that I have seen. So I'm going to move that just to that. I think it's because I've just come out of the screen. Anyway, uh, let's wait for it to restart. I mean, start another match. The one game I do want to to play on this actually is uh, Call of Duty Mobile, but I'm having an issue with the game. It's um, on Android. It's been updated, so I've done a check because this this is my uh, Z44. It's it's the same as my Z45 or Z44. The flash is here. The Z45 is here, but it's a Samsung. So what I'm saying is on the on the Android phone, they've done an update. Yeah, so but on the App Store, it's not there. I don't know if it's going to update it. So what I'm trying to find out, or what I'm trying to do right now is like, it's not working the way it should be working. I played it yesterday. I played Call, Call of Duty Mobile yesterday, so I don't know why. So basically, I, I don't know why it's causing this issue. It says what's new uh, one month ago. Okay, so it's, it's already got an update. So I don't know why it's causing that problem. So, anyway, uh, the backbone doesn't require power, so can, can I do some play? See, what? Uh, the backbone does not require, it does not have a battery, so it doesn't require charging. The only reason I bought this thing is for the iPhone. You understand? So, you do not need that uh, for charging. One of the advantages, but all the triggers got the. Uh, you can also get this with the PlayStation style or mine is just the basic one. But it's still the back phone. And uh, if I click the back, back phone, and look how, well, mine's got cameras on the back phone, so it's kind of hard right now. So, yeah. Things like that will happen. But I mean, this is, uh, this is Game Pass, yeah? And this is the actual uh, Fortnite from the PC version. Why the cars are like this? I think it's because. I came out of the game. I came out of the game just to show you guys this is my iPhone and then I'm doing for gaming. And I think because I came out, these files are now formed. But these files were not here before. I mean, listen, just, just look at the graphics. Does this look like the mobile version? Does this look like the mobile one? Look at the shades. Look at that. There's a shade on there. It's glowing. Look at the color of this thing. Look at the color of that. Look at the Look at my character. Look at the character. Look at this. And this one looks like a mobile one. No, this is a different one. This is the OG. This is the original. So that's why I'm saying I'm so impressed by this type of thing. This one is what? This one is what? This one is what? I get it. Um, to buy a new one costs a hundred dollars. It's quite expensive. Especially if you've got a new iPhone. I mean the Type C iPhone. So obviously.
I'm trying to be as honest as possible. I, I don't I don't use Game Pass that much, as much as I thought I would. The game that I play the most is Call of Duty. And now, even now, I can, I can understand why um, these games do want to get uh, Game Pass. Sorry, they do want to get Call of Duty onto the, the Game Pass. Because that would just bring millions of players to uh, Game Pass. I mean, extra extra people, wouldn't it? Because the one thing that I play the most on my laptop right now is Call of Duty. So it's called the Spot and Sports and the Game Pass. And it's like the Game Pass you get. The Game Pass you get. That's why they bring your players. It's easy. They make more money because now anyone who doesn't have a gaming laptop that doesn't need Game Pass eventually will just be like 